Hello everyone and welcome to Global Consulting Research. I hope every single one of you is doing fine. So this is the session number two of our of our fundamental analysis course in English. So if you are a Hindi audience, please do not watch this session as it will be completely in English. This is only and only for my English speaking audience, right? So in the second session, as we conclude in the first session that we will learn about technical versus fundamental analysis and we will be looking at the GCR Excel sheet, which is customizable once again. Now, if you are unable to create an Excel sheet of your own, according to your own needs, then you can freely use our own Excel sheet, which is which I have created on the equity research desk at the GCR, right? So obviously you can look at the sheet now this is the home page. Now, if you closely look at it, this is a quite a short and quick way to analyze stocks. Now, I have not made this sheet way too long. There are only hardly six or seven sheets which you can use and I have added a template sheet as well. So if you want to create another sheet of your, you can simply click over here and click on move or copy and click create a copy and you will be able to make a copy in no time, right? So this is the data sheet. Now you do not have to make any changes to this data sheet. And, and, and even screener tells you, please do not make any changes to this sheet because otherwise the entire data will be corrupted, right? So let's move forward and look at the home page. We will come back to it. I will show you the entire way around this Excel sheet, how to operate it, how not to operate it and how to upload it on screener. But first, let's see what we have in the session today, right? In the previous session, we learned about how a fundamental investor thinks, what is fundamental analysis, what is equity research and how to do fundamentals and so on and so forth. So in this session, we are going to learn about technical versus fundamental analysis because many a times what I have seen is many traders, many investors are doing it out of some obligation, out of some subconscious obligation. They're follow following either one of them. It's either technical analysis. Maybe they are doing it out of force because some guru or some Instagram influencer told them to do or they are doing fundamental analysis because I or some other guy told them to do, right? So what you need to understand is you need to find your own way of doing things. You need to find your own self, right? Which is suit, which suits for you? What suits you? Is it fundamental analysis? Is it technical analysis or is it option trading, right? So you need to understand what you are capable of doing and what is comfortable to you. Now there is, there is absolutely nothing wrong in being a technical trader. There's absolutely nothing wrong. If this is something which resonates with you, then by all means do it. Right? But if fundamental analysis is something which resonates with you, then by all means do it. Right? It's like saying that you should always be active in, actively investing in the market. No, you can be a passive investor as well. You can be a mutual fund investor as well. Right? So make sure you have a clear distinction between what is technical analysis, what is fundamental analysis and what suits you. So let's quickly see the definition of it. In technical analysis, we simply analyze past price movements, trading volumes to predict future trends. So what it means is simply you are doing analysis on the past price, how the stock prices moved over the past couple of weeks, couple of months, or maybe couple of hours, intraday traders, they do exactly that. You look at trading volumes to predict the future price trends, how the price is going to behave based on the past trends and the past volume. And whereas in fundamental analysis, we do financial health analysis, business model, macro factors, geopolitical factors, and we try to find a an intrinsic value. Now, if we talk about intrinsic value, you can watch my equity valuation course as well, which I have uploaded on the YouTube channel, right? So basically what the purpose of technical analysis is to create short term price movements and make profit out of it. So you are in it for the short run. And whereas fundamental analysis, you need to understand whether the stock is overvalued, undervalued for long term investment. So your time horizon is usually one to two years, right? Time horizon, short term to medium term. Now, if you are a swing trader, positional trading, momentum trader, right? So obviously then it will be a few weeks or few months time. Now, if you're an intraday trader, your entire position is going to be squared off by the end of the trading session. Now, when it comes to the fundamental analysis, now when you are studying the balance sheet of the company, income statement, cash flow statement, which we are going to study in the next session, right? You are by default medium to long term investor. You cannot say that you are going to profit from a stock after a week's volume, after a week's time, after a month's time, right? You never know when the market is going to come to their senses and efficiently price the stocks. Key tools, once again, candlesticks, moving averages, charts, trend lines, RSI, relative strength index, one of the best concepts you can learn in investing. Moving averages, convergent, divergent, convergence, divergence, right? Bollinger bands, Fibonacci retracements, right? And in the fundamental analysis, you simply look at the financial statements. You'll also look at the auditor report. You also look at other macroeconomic sectoral reports, right? So on and so forth. So it's a big 
task to do the fundamental analysis whereas technical analysis is a quite a bit easier than fundamental analysis but still it is tough right so data focus is on price and volume and whereas the data come from primarily company fundamentals when it comes to the fundamental way of investing so these are some of the basic differences between the technical and the fundamental side of the investing now what you need to do is you need to decide for yourself you need to decide for yourself what you want to do whether you want to be a technical trader or do you want to be a fundamental analyst right and there is nothing wrong in choosing one you can watch this session and say boss i want to do technical analysis right this is something that is absolutely your choice not mine right so make sure you understand all these differences and what is best for you right because in this session we are not going to simply road memorize the fundamentals we are going to see what we are capable of doing and what suits us right so once again so relies on numbers indicators patterns whereas fundamental analysis relies on qualitative factors as well you do management analysis and in this session not in this session but in this course i am going to teach you how to do the management analysis properly because trust me many a times people do wrong management analysis they simply look at the annual report and see whether company's md ceo has done their mba from and what their political connections are if there is nothing then they say the management is good this is not how you do the management analysis i'll give you a framework i'll give you a common sensical framework but that will not be easy right so you have some quantitative frameworks as well so this is the main difference traders and short terms long term value investors and institutions now is maybe in this we have your mutual funds we have your hedge funds who invest in a fundamental manner there are hedge funds which use technical analysis completely there are hedge funds which use completely fno strategies there are hedge funds which completely use the quant framework right so what's the assumption what's the assumption between technical analysis and fundamental that in the technical analysis what i am assuming is that market trends repeat over time and price reflects all known information that market is quite efficient right modern portfolio theory if you remember any cfa level 1 candidate will explain the modern portfolio theory that markets are typically efficient whereas in fundamental analysis i am assuming that markets are a bit inefficient not completely inefficient but a bit inefficient and that inefficiency turns into efficiency over a period of time because to make profits you want market to completely reflect the true worth of a stock usually higher risk and usually lower risk in the fundamental analysis and if you are a day trader trust me if you are day trading if you are swing trading please by all means do technical analysis it is completely useless for you to do fundamentals right trust me it is not much of use to you and for investor looking for long term wealth creation like rakesh junjunwala like ramdev agarwal like warren buffett please go by all means to the fundamental analysis right so these are the main differences you need to understand now we are done with the session today right this one is a short session it was just an introduction to our analysis sheet right now if you look at our analysis sheets there are our buttons right now if you look at in the if i click on the profit and loss there will be a profit and loss income statement analysis over here you can easily copy paste it to the your presentation right if i click over a chart analysis now if you look at my research reports you will find a lot of charts what i do is i simply copy paste from here only right i have customized it right so it becomes easy for me if i look at over a quarters i have a quarterly results analysis how you can easily analyze the results of any quarter and i have a ttm column here as well right you can simply press f2 and you will find that the ttm is the last four quarters results how they have performed and how the overall momentum in the financial is for any company now this company is novama wealth management you can see over here it's novama right now if i look at the sales trend it's a completely uptrend in the sales it's a complete uptrend in the operating profit complete uptrend in the net profit so you understand how the quarterly performance of the company is and you can look at the last five quarter sales and pat figures actually this is last four quarters and this is ttm right so you can easily do any type of analysis right and over here in this chart i have given the delta in sales growth is simply the difference between the two growth rates delta in pad growth right difference between the pad growth and delta in eps growth so this number is super 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 important if you are a fundamental investor right you can easily customize it you can easily automate it all you need to do is simply go to the screener right you can follow us on our twitter as well right now click over here just a second screener slash and press excel and you will be able to choose any file and upload it 
and you can easily customize the Excel sheet, right? So make sure you download this Excel sheet from the description, from the comments, you can easily download and click on ratio analysis. You have all the ratios over here calculated. You have your DU point analysis. You can do the DU point analysis as well, right? Whether you, whether the ROE of the company is due to pat margin, asset turnover or equity multiplier, you will be able to find the reason for that. Forensics now, once again, forensic accounting, I have made a special video on that. So make sure you keep, like make sure you watch all the videos, right? It is one of the best channels on YouTube. And once again, the data sheet, right? So make sure you upload it on the screener. It's a short Excel sheet. It's not that big because I want to keep things simple because once you start keeping things simple, you will be able to make money in the market, right? So all in all, you will be able to analyze any stock using this Excel sheet. So make sure you download the sheet and you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next session. I hope you love the session. This was one of the introductory session, right? Once again, and a theoretical one, but from the next session, we are going to do the complete financial analysis of the companies, right? So folks, thank you and bye-bye.